we hear a lot about how artificial intelligence and machine learning are going to change the world and how the internet of things will make everyone's life easier but what's the one thing that underpins all of these revolutionary technologies the answer is data from social media to the iot devices for generating bill amount of data considering the cab service providing the uber i am sure all of you have used uber what are you think makes uber a multi billion dollar worth company is it that availability of cabs or is their services well the answer is data data makes them very rich but wait is there enough to grow a business of course it is not you must know how to use the data to draw useful insights and solve problems this is where data science comes in word data science is the process of using data to find solutions or to predict outcomes for a problem statement to better understand data science let's see how it affects our day to day activities it's a monday morning and i have to get office before my meeting starts so i quickly open up uber and looks for the cabs but there's something unusual that cabs reads a comparatively higher at this hour of the day why does this happen well obviously because monday mornings are peak hours and everyone is rushing off to work work the high demand of cabs leads to increase in the cab fares we all know this but how is all of this implemented data science is we all know this but how is all of this implemented data science is at the heart of uber's pricing algorithms the surge pricing algorithm ensures that the passengers always get a right when they need one even if it comes at the cost of inflated prices uber implements data science to find out which neighborhoods will be the busiest so that it can activate surge pricing to get more drivers on the road in this manner over maximized the number of rides it can provide enhanced benefit from this uber surge pricing algorithm uses data science let's see how a data science process always begins with understanding the business requirements or the problem you are trying to solve in this case the business requirement is to build a dynamic pricing model that takes effect when a lot of people in the same area are requesting rides at the same time this is followed by data collection uber collects data such as the weather oracle data holidays time traffic pickup and drop location and it keeps a track of all of this the next stage is data cleaning while sometimes unnecessary data is collected such data only increases the complexity of the problem an example is uber might collect information like the location of restaurants and cafes nearby now such data is not needed to analyze uber search pricing there for such data has to be removed at this step data planning is followed by date exploration and analysis like this brainstorming of data analysis this is where you understand the patterns in your data this is followed by data modeling the data modeling stage basically includes building a machine learning model that predicts the uber search at a given time and location this model is built by using all the insights and trends collected in the exploration stage the model is trained by filling at thousands of customer records so that it can learn to predict the outcome more precisely next is the data validation stage now here the model is tested when a new customer books arrive the data of the new booking is compared with the historic data in order to check if there are any anomalies in the search prices or any false predictions if any such anomalies are detected a notification is immediately sent to the data scientist at uber who fix the issues this is how uber predicts a search price for a given location and time the final stage of the science is deployment and optimization 
So after testing the model and improving its efficiency, it is deployed on all the users at this stage customer feedback is received and if there are any issues they are fixed here so that was the entire data science process now let's look at a few other applications of data science data science is implemented in e-commerce platforms like amazon and flipkart it is also the logic behind netflix recommendation system now now in all actuality quality data science has made remarkable changes in today's market its application range from credit card fraud detection to self-driving cars let's consider an example suppose you look for shoes on amazon but you do not buy it then in there now the next day you are watching videos on youtube and suddenly you see an ad for the same item you switch to Facebook there. Also you see the same ad. So how does this happen? Will this happen? Because Google tracks your search history. This is one of the coolest application of data science. In fact, 35% of Amazon's revenue is generated by production recommendation. And the logic behind production recommendation is data science. Let me tell you another sad story. Scott killed in never imagine his apple watch might save his life but that's exactly what happened a few months ago when he had a heart attack in the middle of the night but how could a watch detect a heart attack any guesses well it's the data science again apple used data science to build a watch that monitors an individual's health this watch collect the data such as the person's heart rate, sleep cycle, breathing rate, activity, level of blood pressure, etc. and keeps a record of these measures 24 bar 7. This collected data is then processed and analyzed to build a model, then predicts the risk of heart attack. So these were a few hours location now. The question is how and why you should become a data scientist. According to LinkedIn's March 29, 2019 survey, a data scientist is the most promising job role in the US and it stands a number one on glass doors. Best jobs of 2019. Here are a couple of job trends that are collected from LinkedIn top companies like Microsoft, IBM, Facebook and Google have over thousands of job vacancies and this number is only going to grow. These job trends show the vacancy of jobs with respect to job defame coming to the salary of data scientists. The average salary ranges between $100,000 to $200,000. Now remember that your salary varies on your skills, your level of experience, your geography and the company you are working for here at the skills and the company you are working for here are the skills that are needed to become a data scientist. You must be skilled in the scientist expertise. You must be skilled in statistics expertise in programming languages like R and Python. It's just uh, you are required to have a good understanding of processes like data extraction processing wrongly and exploration. You must also the well versed with the different types of machine learning algorithms and how the work advanced machine learning concepts like deep learning is also needed you must also processes a good understanding of the different big data processing frameworks like Hadoop and Spark and finally you must know how to visualize the data by using different tools like Power BI now that you know what it takes to become a data a data scientist it's time to buckle up and kick start your career as a data scientist that's all from my side guys if you wish to learn more about such trading technologies make sure you subscribe our channel until next time happy learning i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them happy learning